welcome to my bathroom. <laughs> Welcome back to the Minimalism May playlist. Now this is actually a subscriber request video. It is minimalism in the bathroom, particularly around hair care products. So we're going to shoot this video in my bathroom. So come quickly with me. All right, one of the keys to incorporating minimalism in the bathroom, particularly around hair care and beauty care products, and that is to use products that the whole family can use. So we all use the Mugu products. They're a little bit more expensive, but they are fantastic value and really good quality. I get a really itchy scalp and I use this for Rocco and for Tom. So we have the Mugu Milk Shampoo and the Mugu Cream Conditioner. Also, when it comes to the skincare products, we also all share the same. I use Skin Therapy by Douglas Pierre, who actually does all my facials, and he makes cruelty-free, vegan-friendly products, and they're all absolutely beautiful, and Tom uses these anti-aging products as well. And when it comes to personal hygiene, we also <laughs> use the same products. So instead of using those aerosol cans that are not recyclable and full of nasty chemicals, we actually use a deodorant paste, and this is the Elixir Black Chicken Paste. Now, not only is the container recyclable, it's actually better for you. And you'd be amazed, a little bit goes a long way. So whilst this can be $20 to $30, depending on where you buy it from, you actually will find that this will last you three to six months. We try and make our own products, which are really fun to do, which Rocco absolutely loves. You would have seen on my Insta stories that we make our own coffee body scrub, which is simply the coffee granules from our Nespresso machine, which we're also recycling, coconut oil and brown sugar. It's a simple as that and not only does it exfoliate the body um, it's apparently really good for cellulite it also leaves the body with this nice like waxy coat so you don't actually need to put moisturizer on after you get out of the shower so not only are you saving money but you're also saving time all right the third little tip which isn't so much minimalism but more sort of decluttering and storage and that is to use these clear plastic containers they are fantastic because you can see what's in them quickly in a hurry and i've also done the same with all the medicine that we need and use now, these are my favorite purses though. They're not clear, obviously, but they're vegan and cruelty-free friendly. They are made from natural products and they're from Bon Voyage, but they're kind of like the vegan, um, cruelty-free friendly version of the Daily Edited. And you can actually get them personalized with your own initials. I absolutely love this, it's fantastic. All right, so the fourth tip is to have a use-up pile or box. So when there are products I found that I wasn't really liking or enjoying or working for me, instead of just like throwing it out, like barely used or barely open, I actually would use that product up correctly, but in a different type of way. So for example, if I had like a face cream that wasn't working for me, I would just go and use it as a body moisturizer. And then when it was empty, I could make sure I put it responsibly into a recycling bin. All right, my fifth tip is to embrace brands and companies that support zero waste. Mac is fantastic. You can actually take these empty containers back to the Mac store and you will actually get a lipstick after you can it over a certain number of products. This is really fantastic. We need to be supporting the companies and brands that are doing the right ethical thing to support our environment and to make sure that we continue supporting shopping ethically. Another great tip, which is probably more of a money saving tip than minimalism, and that is to cut your products open when you think they're run out. You'll be blown away by how much more product is still sitting at the bottom of the tube or the bottle. And this is a classic example. This looks like this. Oh, it normally looks like it's got nothing in it. But literally, I've been pumping this for like weeks now. But when I actually twisted this off and pulled the product out, I can actually see there was so much more product left in the bottom. Now, so many people will just immediately throw this into the recycling bin and be done with it. There is probably at least another two to three weeks worth of conditioner left in this and I will not go and replace this until it's getting really close to the end I always like to use a just-in-time process in this house I don't like to stockpile my products another important tip about minimalism is so many people think it's about saving money and being really frugal and buying the cheapest product well that's actually not true at all it's about embracing quality and things that you love value use and appreciate and letting go of the excess so when it comes to certain products in my life, I'm happy to spend a little bit more if it means I get much better value for money because I'm getting a much better quality product. 
So for example, my face creams are all made by Douglas Piera. They're beautifully made, they're cruelty free friendly, they're vegan, they're plant based, they're absolutely fantastic. All right, so now we'll talk about minimalism and hair care tools, because this is what you guys really asked for. So when I first started with minimalism, I just literally had my hair dryer and my straightener. And this was fantastic. It was all I needed because I could use it to straighten my hair and to curl it. But as I learned to become more creative in the way that I style and dress myself and present myself, I started to realize that I did actually need other tools. So I invested in a hair straightening brush, which is really good as well as a secondary cloud nine hair curler. Now, sometimes I look at this and think, oh, I'd love to buy one product that does all of these. So if you know of one, please let me know. But the truth is I actually use all of these. And for me, this is a creative process. I have fun using these tools and I really do love value use and appreciate. I also keep my hair accessories really simple with no like clips and scrunchies. It's really very basic. And I try and think about protecting my hair. So if I need my hair out of my face, I'm going to the gym, it's tied up with a simple hair elastic and I just have a bunch of these floating around my bathroom and my house and my car. But then when I'm at home or I'm at work and I want my hair out of my face, but I don't want to damage and kink my hair, particularly being blonde hair, I will use these French twist clips. They're fantastic because it keeps my hair up and out of my face, but it doesn't damage the hair. But I keep it really simple. You won't find any other hair accessories in my bathroom closet other than these. Now, if you have any suggestions or tips to help me to take my love of minimalism in my bathroom to a deeper level, please put a comment in the comment box below. I love hearing from you and I love replying back to you. So please make sure you share your tip because you're helping other people as well as me. Now make sure you subscribe and switch on that notification button or bell because we still have at least three or four more videos coming your way. And as I said, if you make a subscriber request for this month, I will make sure I make that special minimalism video just for you.